hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing great so today i'm going to be showing you how to create the next candlestick right here on Cortex platform but with one minute strategy uh one minute prediction and i could still break the next candle using my powerful strategy and i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a withdrawal today on Cortex platform all right so i'll start by selecting a good pair that's what you do once you come into the market you want to select a good pair that will enable you to choose uh trade wisely like now this is a good market the market is selling i could go for a one minute sell there one percent of my account so i just took this trade randomly because i know that we can see continuous good seller scandal that might just be a pull up but it's going to reject and sell so i didn't really do much analysis here because I don't want to miss the trade. It's quite fast. I am sure it's going to sell. So that's why I took it very fast. All right. So while the trade is running, if you're new to the channel, do also hit the subscribe button and always drop a comment on my video. Tell me what you enjoyed, tell me what you learned. It will really encourage me to make more videos for you all. Okay. So you can see here, this is selling. That's a good sell trade for one minute prediction. Now, most of the time for my one minute prediction, I do well to look at the five minutes chart. I look at, I mark one or two levels there. And then, okay, that was an item. All right, so that was a good one. And then I get to know the major market direction. But now we can see from the five minutes chart that it's already selling. The market is going to be giving us a uh, uh, higher high, higher low, you know, higher high pattern because you can see a break of structure here more of bias the trend has changed so he has to be buying but now even if he has to be buying he's going to sell for short term so he's going to just give some short term selling and sell us and then later he continues upward all right so that's what we're expecting the market to do so, and he's going to be giving lower low, lower high until he gets to a very key level on the five minutes chart then bias might decide to take the market higher so i might continue with the one minute prediction and at the same time i would like to uh, take one trade for powerful strategy like my powerful strategy i've been using so i like to get a trade there or i would like to take a trade with my powerful strategy i might just switch this up probably use a for a dollars because that's the powerful strategy i'm going to be taking the trade for like four minutes so i'm sure it's going to be an item once i see a clear signal so most of the markets here are just consolidating i'm waiting for a clear signal and then i'll take a good trade right here the market looks like though he wants to start buying on usd card we're seeing some you know sellers tried buyers came in sellers tried again and now buyers are looking more stronger i'll keep that on the side and then still look for more well i've screwed almost i've screwed to almost all the pairs well, you can see this guy is still still giving some sellers entry i think he might be selling down to it might be selling down to this point before we start getting some buyers into the market so if you could just go higher a little i might sell for like three or four minutes Oh, he's almost there already. Okay, the USD card I just looked at. We we got some uh, rejections there, and now we're seeing some sellers. I would like the market to buy, but not here. I would like it to come down a little before it starts buying so that was 
that's what I'm going to be expecting on this USD card. Oh, you can see this guy just traded up. Let me see the five minutes chart. Okay. Like I said, the market has to at least sell down to this point. Or it might just continue the high, 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 low pattern. But I might just I might just sell it too. I guess it's still gonna sell down to that point. So I'm just gonna sell it for uh maybe the next four minutes. I'll use um trying to bring this thing down so I could could sell for okay I'll, I'm gonna sell there. All right, so I took a lower option here because I want the market to at least touch this level before it starts buying. So it doesn't touch there. And you can see the little downtrend here is going to be giving us lower, low, lower high pattern. So I think it's going to just trade down here before bias comes into the market. I think I'm very sure of that because of the five minutes uh, candles. So that's why I took sellers there. So let me look at the five minutes chart again. Okay, now it's rejecting. It's going to reject and then sell down to that level before we see any good movement again in the market. All right, let's see how it goes. Maybe buyers are beginning to come in. Oh, okay, that's fine. I think buyers are beginning to come in. I wanted to just touch that level before before it starts uh, buying. Buyers are beginning to come in very fast. I might just be looking out for the next good trade since buyers are beginning to come into that market. All right, so look at this market. I predicted that this market is going to be buying and now it has retraced and now it's buying. So I guess that market is going to be buying for a very long time. So at the close of this candle, I'll be using the thousand dollars for my next trade. Since this guy is going to be a loss, and this guy is going to be a loss, so I'll be buying this market with the thousand dollars. Since I use five hundred on the other one, so what I'm doing, uh, I'm just trying to chase my loss. Though I uh, you know I'm going to recover, so I want to recover very well. This bias scandal is so so high. I would like to wait for some pullback okay I like to wait for some pullback all right so I'm gonna buy it there okay so I took a higher option here because this market wants to be giving higher high high low high high, high low pattern so I'm expecting more buyers into the market there market is going to continue higher here i wanted to last to bring the market down one more time but it failed and bias came in but i don't think the market is going to be buying like it's going to be buying for a long time i might think i think it might still reject down i don't know but i'll just allow that trade i have about um 10 seconds left so this is a fair loss it's okay because I knew the pattern the market wants to be, but I thought you could just sell a little while before you, you know, before you start buying. But currently here, I'm on this one and took a hard option and I would like to see 
I'll buy a stick stamp market higher. Okay, let's see how it goes. We have about two minutes more. A new five minutes candle started, so I know it's just gonna continue the trend. Higher, higher, higher low. Buyers are still gonna push the market more higher. That's what I'm expecting here. Buyers are beginning to come in. All right. Okay, that's some good signs from buyers. That's a good one. Okay. I like that push up. Shows that the, the bias candles are supporting my trade. You can see the bigger candles are forming in the direction of my trade, just like I explained to you on the previous uh, free live zoom section I did. If you have not watched that video, please do want to check out the replay. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video so you can uh, watch the video. I, I give a lot of value about how the market works. So you can see just one green candle is covering about two red candles that showed up here. So that means buyers are actually supporting my trade. That means I'm in the right direction. If this trade to should fail, this one I'm seeing tell us, that probably means the market is consolidating because that market has to continue higher. So anything that happens there, then it might be consolidation because the market just have to continue buying and buying. But now I'm seeing some, some weird price action. Let's see if I still win this trade. I'm still sure I'm going to win. We have about uh, less than 10 seconds. Like I said, it's just consolidating. That price action has to continue higher. If not, we're not supposed to see sellers there. Okay, that was a good one. I won my trade. You can see my history. I took this one. Loss recover. This was the one minute prediction that I won. So that's a good one for today. So currently I'm on $13,000 in profit. So I'm going to be making a withdrawal now. So all you need to do is just to click withdraw and I'm going to decide how much I want to withdraw. I could say I want to withdraw about, um, you see, I want to take out $3,000 on this account. I'm going to be withdrawing $3,000. I'm going to use bank transfer because I started with bank transfer. I deposited with bank transfer. And what I advise you guys to watch my video on uh, beginner section on how to deposit and how to withdraw. I talked more, I gave more details about how to deposit and withdraw with the rules there. So I'm going to put in my details and then I'm going to update you. All right, so I've imputed my details and uh, you can see the names here make sure the names here are the same name with the accounts you're withdrawing to so in case they ask you to verify it so I'll, i'm going to put in my code sent to my mail just give me a second all right so you can see the withdrawal has been placed and uh, they're saying that the withdrawal is going to take about 48 hours within 48 hours i'm withdrawing two thousand three thousand dollars to my bank accounts and uh, like balance now is about ten thousand four hundred and thirty eight dollars so that's fine i'm gonna update you guys on the next video if the withdrawal was successful and how long it took for me to receive the money and all that all right so i'm sure it's not gonna get up to 48 hours and i'm gonna receive my funds so with that being said i hope you find this video insightful 
Okay, so do what to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you always get notified once I upload another video. You get to get to get updates for the withdrawal I just made and i'm going to update you guys on how it goes and do also contact me also to learn if you want to learn how to create the next market direction and create the next candlestick right here on cortex platform like the way i do as a professional i'm currently holding a mentorship program it's currently on for this october so you can still join if you're really really interested and you learn how to trade like me so with that being said, hope you find this one insightful. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Vlogo trading. Bye for now.